the futuristic transportation technology is making headlines again. I'm talking about Hyperloop, a high-speed transportation system that can cut journey times between cities from hours to minutes. Watch this story for more details. Look at this 420-meter white steel tube that runs along a railway line in the windswept northern Netherlands. This tube is the heart of the new European Hyperloop Centre, a high-speed transportation system that can cut down travel time by hours. Hyperloop involves capsules floating on magnetic fields. They can zip at speeds of 700 km per hour through low-pressure tubes. This was originally the brainchild of billionaire US entrepreneur Elon Musk. He envisioned being able to whisk passengers between San Francisco and Los Angeles in under half an hour. Subsequently, several companies around the world announced plans for pilot projects. And now, Heart Hyperloop, one of the first companies to develop the technology, has successfully tested the futuristic mode of travel. With the first successful test, we were able to levitate the vehicle, also turn on the guidance system and the propulsion system. Then we moved the vehicle to our launch position uh, about 20 meters into the tube. And then we launched it with an acceleration similar to that of a metro, uh, up to a top speed of about 30 kilometers an hour, uh, about 100 meters in the pipe. And uh, that's when we reached the successful test. The company is confident that the new form of transport will eventually prove to be far more efficient than short-haul flights, high-speed rail and freight trucks. So how does the technology work? A vacuum pump sucks out the air from the tube to reduce the internal pressure. This reduces drag and allows the capsule to travel at high speeds. Hyperloop developers aim to have capsules speeding through tubes at speeds of up to 700 km per hour. However, so far in the limited space offered by the test center, the speed has been modest. In the first 100 meters here where we've been testing, we are of course limited by the length, so we cannot accelerate for a very long time. So this is mainly our current limiting factor for the speed that we've been able to reach. Uh, but as soon as we start traversing the whole infrastructure, we will be able to go up to 100 kilometers an hour. And then if we extend the facility even further, we can reach even higher speeds to really demonstrate the Hyperloop uh, velocity. While testing continues in Vindam, Hyperloop developers hope destinations for their technology are forthcoming. There is no technical reason why Hyperloop cannot work. To deliver Hyperloop as a mobility system, we have a very complicated puzzle which requires technology, which requires policy, which requires public-private collaboration, and that is what is needed most. But the question still remains, how is Hyperloop better than other modes of transport? Firstly, Hyperloop is extremely fast. The Hyperloop promises to shorten travel time drastically. For reference, the Amsterdam to Milan route usually takes more than 11 hours by road. Hyperloop users will be able to travel the same distance in just two hours. Secondly, a successful rollout of a dense Hyperloop network will benefit the environment as well. A Hyperloop system uses around one-tenth of the energy of aviation and one-third of a railway. Plus, it is completely noise-free since it's enclosed within the tunnel. Lastly, the tunnels could be placed alongside existing motorways, thus eliminating the need for extra land. If everything goes as planned, the Dutch might get to experience the Hyperloop by 2030.